This at least uh, the government sees its one big achievement. It's the latest on the India-China standoff. India is claiming a major diplomatic victory after it managed to resolve the standoff over Chinese incursion. Indian officials are refusing to spell out the details though, but sources have told us off the record that India and China both agreed to restore the status quo and that there was no other deal made. China's concerns over India building infrastructure in Ladakh is to be discussed separately. Sources say India used the hysteria over Chinese incursions at home to press China to withdraw. They they say the entire fiasco was the result of the failure of both sides to exchange maps of the western and eastern sectors. But the BJP has now demanded to know what quid quo pro deal was made. It wants an all-party meet to discuss the Chinese incursion. The governments of India and China have agreed to restore the status quo ante along the line of actual control in the western sector of the India-China boundary as it existed prior to 15th April 2013. Flag meetings have been held to work out the modalities and to confirm the arrangements. The breakthrough came after three failed flag meetings between the Indian troops and the PLA there in the Chushul sector. Finally, the fourth round of the flag meeting coming after 20 days of the standoff seems to have brought together that breakthrough where the Indian troops and the Chinese troops will step back to their April 15th position. But the bigger question, could a standoff like this be averted in the future? Sources telling us India has not acceded to China's demand to bring down its in installations to dismantle the border post there at Chumar as well as Fukche and Nyoma, as well as Chinese concerns over the construction at the DBO airfield. But India has agreed for the moment to discuss those concerns with China. China has yet to accede to India's demands uh, to make sure and clarify its map of the line of actual control, what it sees its perception as being one of the reasons for the confusion in that particular sector. So the big question, could a standoff of the sort we've seen over the past 20 days occur again? Until there's more clarity really on just where that line of actual control is, the answer unfortunately is probably yes.